Zapier has just launched something truly unique. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know about this brand new feature. Hello, my name is Marty Englander from Brainy Automations, where I teach business owners how to automate their tasks like automated blogging, automated social sharing, automated video optimization, amongst a lot of other things. So if you wanna learn automation using no-code solutions like Zapier, head over to brainyautomation.com for more information. Here we are inside Zapier's latest feature, called Zapier Central. If you are part of the beta program, you can get to Zapier Central by heading over to central.zapier.com slash bots. Now, if you don't know what Zapier Central is, the best way to think of it is like ChatGPT on steroids. Basically, Zapier have created a ChatGPT lookalike which connects to all of their apps, meaning you can talk to Zapier in plain English and you can connect all the external apps to it and it will use AI to run things when you ask it to or even in the background. It's a really unique way of automating things and I'm really excited to show you. The first thing that you're going to see inside Zapier Central is, well, a blank screen with a button saying new bot. Let's go ahead and click it. And now we have the ChatGPT lookalike screen. So we can communicate with Zapier's AI and tell it what we want. But before we do this, we need to understand the difference between behaviors and data sources. So if we click on create a behavior, this is the instructions that we would give the AI when things happen. So for example, let's enter in some text. So the instructions I'm giving AI is when a new row is added, summarize the product description row, create a LinkedIn post using all the row data talking about the benefits of this tool and finish off with a call to action linking to the URL row. Now that's just a whole bunch of text that you probably like what you're talking about, what row, etc. So we're going to get into that in just a second. But ultimately, we're giving it step by step step instructions in the most methodical way that we can. So we're saying when there's a new row in Google Sheet, comma, summarize the product description row, comma, because there's a row in Google Sheets titled description, then we're saying, comma, create a LinkedIn post with all the other information. So every step that we want it to do, we'll just separate with a comma because step one is this, step two is this, step three is this, etc. Then based off our text, it will give us all of these recommended triggers and actions. And the trigger is something that's waiting for something to happen so it can do something. So if we if we connect Google Sheets, the trigger will be when we update a row in Google Sheet trigger, and then it will trigger the rest of the things, which is the action. So the action will be summarize the post, and then it will be create the post, and then it will be post the post to LinkedIn. Then we have the data source. So at the moment, it'll be really nice if we can connect other data sources as well, but this is still in beta. So we're going to connect Google Sheet and then it will connect to your Google Sheets and I'm going to connect a spreadsheet I have called website. Now this is the Google Sheet and this is basically all the websites that I've spoken about on my uh, TikTok account and I showcase and everything. So I have all of these websites in a Google Sheet and every single time I update or add a new website to this sheet, I want it to be automatically sent to LinkedIn. Okay, so we'll go back here, we we'll connect the data source, and there we have it. But the really cool thing is we can actually add multiple data sources that I'll get into in another video, but you can cross-reference things and do all sorts of stuff. It's really, really powerful. So if we go back to the behavior, now that we've given it instructions and we've connected our data source, the next step is, right, what is the trigger? Well, the trigger is going to be when we update a new row in the Google Sheet. So you can click on add trigger here, or you can use the suggested AI generated triggers, which I'll just do like so. We then need to connect the specific spreadsheet, which is this one, and then we need to also connect which sheet we want connecting, which is this. Once you've done that, you can do add trigger. And now we've done the trigger. So we now want it to do the second half of this, which is generated all the suggested actions. So we're going to select the LinkedIn create share update because that's exactly what I want. So we'll just do add. And usually you'd have to manually change these fields to the one that you want. However, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let AI do what it should do. So that's why it says have AI generate a value for this field. And then we'll do add action. And 
we can now test this step. So if we go into the sheet, the last row is called is graphic and it's got a little product description, but I wanted to talk about it more. It's got the URL and the website name. So let's see if it understands all of this. So we'll do test behavior and now it's communicating with itself so you can analyze and watch what's actually happening in real time. So testing the behavior, so it's found the latest row, so that's correct. It's now saying what it needs to do. So the product description is this, and now it's crafting a LinkedIn post. So it's created this title for Reese's this description. The benefit gets started. It's got a URL there. It's got some hashtags for us, and now it's creating a LinkedIn post, and it should be sharing it. And it's actually done that, and here's the URL. So let's go ahead and go to the URL. We should open up our LinkedIn profile, and here's the post. Now, now, it does look like it needs a little bit of fine tuning because LinkedIn doesn't do markup the right way. So we need to improve the prompt, but that is pretty cool. In a nutshell, that is how you use Zapier Central. You can do a whole bunch of things like communicate in real time with it, get more specific and tell it to do column x or row number 23 you can liaise this with your other sources like your wordpress website to create blogs or your slack channels your emails to send an email to whoever overall there's a ton of stuff that you'll be able to do with this and considering it's just launched to market it's actually pretty impressive just how advanced this is working let me know your thoughts of zapier central below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video